for number two. Hi, I'm Richard Cadell, and I'll be playing Buttons at the Theatre Royal in Nottingham in Cinderella, alongside legendary superstar Sooty, everybody! <laughs> and I am the lovely Debbie McGee, of course, <laughs> and I'm going to be playing Fairy and Sleeping Beauty at the Beck Theatre in Hayes. Oh, no, I'm not! Oh, yes, you are! <laughs> Special, as you can see. Uh, and all our celebrities are playing now, for... Now, Debbie! Hello! Welcome back to Pointless. Always Thank a treat you. having you here. Do you have a favourite, a favourite town or somewhere that we've done pantomime? I mean, is, there, is there one place where you think is just the best? Um, I think of all of them I've done, the most Christmassy town has been York. And ah. I've done that two years running. Oh, I love York. Walking to work every day to the theatre in York is something special. That's very mm. nice. And uh, when do you finish? And what's the latest you've done, Panto, still? Um, where Faye is this year, Bradford at the Alhambra, one year I did it, and we finished in April. <gasps> and we started in what? October. But I had a great time, so I'm sure Faye will. Wow. <laughs> mm. OK, now, Debbie. Yes. Uh, what are you going to go for on our board here? Well, I know a few of them, and I, so it's just who people didn't know. So I'm going to go for... I think I'll go for Of Mice and Men, John Steinbeck. Of Mice and Men, yeah. says Debbie. Let's see if that's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people said mice. It's right. Ooh, oh, it's ooh, 83. Yeah, well, Again, fine. it may not be the highest score yeah. of this round, though. Uh, yeah, more famous as a book, but uh, John Steinbeck adapted it himself as a Broadway play. A successful one, too. Mm hmm. Debbie and yeah. Richard. 83. On 83! <laughs> she looks marvellous, doesn't she, for 83? <laughs> uh, so, there we are. Oh, now, Richard. Hello. Richard, it's great to have you. Do you and Sooty are appearing together? Yeah. Do you, um... We do. Do you get, do you get double pay? Because there are two of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, unfortunately we don't. Um, but uh, it's always a pleasure to introduce Sooty to Panto. It's only... He's, um, it's quite new to Panto, really. Really? Yeah, he's not done that many, so we're really thrilled to be doing it. Does he, does he get any songs? Uh, yeah, Silent Night is one of his specialities. <laughs> That's, <good. laughs> That's good. Very good indeed. Now, Richard, this is where it starts to get exciting. You're on 83. You have to score 45 or less yeah. with this. Can I confer with Sooty? Yes, you can. Right? OK. <laughs> that was useful. Right, let's have a look. Um, <laughs> right, I'll go with the one I think I know. Which is the dog, the curious incident of the dog in the night time. OK, the curious incident of the dog. Here is your red line. Can you get below that with the dog? Let's find out. The dog is right. You done it! Yes. Very yes. strong indeed. Oh, right. 37. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. And that takes your total up to 120. Well played, Sooty. Well whispered. Uh, yeah, it's a very good night. It's been a huge hit all around the world, the curious incident of the dog in the night time. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. Ah, oh, now, Faye. Faye, you look fabulous. Thank you, um, darling. Talk us through Christmas in the Tozer household. <laughs> well, I won't be there. <laughs> 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 um, uh, no, uh, this year we're uh, in Bradford. Um, so I actually go home. I live up north these days, so I'll get to drive home. So... That's good. And when will you be finishing? So, it's quite a long one. I'm going to be there until January the 26th. Oh, that's not too bad. So, it gets a little bit crazy on stage once you've gone past yeah. Christmas, yeah. past New Year, and then everyone has fun on stage and silly things start happening to keep us interested. <laughs> <laughs> Very good indeed. Now, Faye, here yes. you are on 37. Fantastic score from Duncan in the first yeah, part. Good start. 91 or less, and you're through. Yeah. I don't know if the one that I'm going to say is correct, cos I'm not sure, I'm going to go for American Werewolf. American Werewolf. I don't know if it's the right um, answer. American but this is Werewolf what I'm for the guessing. David Mamet. Here is your red line. Cross your fingers for me. Let us find out. American Werewolf, is it right? Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, Faye. That takes your total up to 137. Oh. Uh, Richard. That's American Buffalo. It's Ameri yes. That would have scored you five points. Uh, any of those others? Something in the skull? Is it Rat in the Skull? Rat, rat in the Skull, rat yeah, in the skull. Absolutely. Well done, Michelle. Rat in the Skull would have scored two. The Wild... I don't... It's the Wild Duck. Seven points for that. And the bottom one? The Sheep. Is it the Sheep? It's not the Sheep. Oh. Almost. The Goat. The Goat. Yeah, the Goat. 
and that would have scored three. So the best answer on the board there is rat. Very well done if you say that. That's difficult. That was That's difficult. That's a tough board. Yeah. Um, but anyway, well, that round is behind us. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. Uh, and Duncan and Faye, I'm so sorry. This is where we have to part company, I'm sorry <laughs> to say. Um, it's been Aww. lovely having you here. Oh, we've well, loved it. Thank you, you so much. Best of so luck with your wonderful pantomime. Thank so please you come so and see much. us again very, very, very soon. Much. But uh, thank wonderful. You. Faye and Duncan, Good everybody. Good but for the remaining three pairs, it is now time for round two. Down to three pairs. We're very much into the game now. Well done, Gary. Look at that. Gary, lowest individual score there, nine. And, in fact, Gary and Michelle, lowest combined score. So these guys would appear to be the class swats, I would say. Best of luck to all three yeah. pairs, though. Our category for round two is who's going to go first, oh, no. who's going to go second. And whoever's going first, please step up to the podium. OK, let's find out what the question is. Here it comes. We gave 100 people 100 seconds to name as many countries that have won oh. Winter Olympics oh, medals Gosh. as they could. I don't think this is very bad. I do. We're literally bad. looking for any country who've ever won any medal at all at <laughs> any Winter Olympics oh. from the 1924 oh. all the way through to the, uh, the last Winter Olympics piece. So yeah. any country's ever won any medal at the Winter Olympics. Uh, by country, we mean a sovereign state that's a member of the UN in its own right. Thank you very much indeed. Richard. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> no. Oh, Look come on, that. countries. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to get no help of him at all. Look at that. We haven't got a clue. This, this is tricky. Oh, Switzerland. How many of our 100 people said Switzerland? He's right. And down it goes. Oh! 38 for Switzerland. Okay. There you go. Very good. It's a shot in the dark there. Oh, yeah, they, they, they've only won 150 medals, so it was... Uh, <laughs> it was yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Richard. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. Now then, Debbie, good news for you too. Doesn't matter what you score here, you are through to the head-to-head. -head. Austria. Austria, says Debbie. OK. No red line, you're already through. How many people said Austria? It's right. 37. Oh, very good indeed. That takes your total up to 75. As a pair, so you can chat before you give your answers. First, Richard. Yeah, we're going to show you five pictures. Sooty's going to go for bread. OK, you're going to go for D, bread. OK, so Michelle and Gary are... Meanwhile, Debbie and Richard have gone for D <laughs> and mean, are we saying... Just say should we just go? Should we just, you know... <laughs> bread. Well, let's just see. How many of our 100 people said bread? Bread oh. is right. Oh, not as high oh. as I thought. Let's go up. 63. Okay. Not bad. Well done. And Richard, you get to answer it first, but you have to win it to stay in the game. So very, very best of luck. Our okay. second question today is all... Debbie and Richard, you're going to go first. Well, uh, well, if you agree... I no. think that A is obscure enough that it might be low. I, no, OK. In terms of the artist. All right. The flying pickets. Flying pickets, say Debbie and Richard. The flying pickets. So then, Debbie and Richard have gone for the flying pickets for A. Let's see if that is right. Let's see how many of our 100 got it. It is right. Oh. Ooh. Very much was the fine because that goes down to 32. <laughs> That's what we needed from you. Yeah, You're back in the game after two questions. One, yeah. It's one all. Yeah, you had to take a risk after that. Uh... We'll see one of you go through to the final and play for that jackpot for your charities. Best of luck to both pairs. Our third and Richard, do you fancy talking us through the board? Well, I don't fancy it at all, right. actually. <laughs> I don't know, because I don't. it doesn't say a year, but the science fiction comedy could be Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf, yeah. But I'm not sure. don't know the author. Me neither. Um, item of ornamental headdress, I think, is the cr a crown. Uh, so I don't know. And that's know. clearly Holly Willoughby. And Holly Willoughby. Which is, which is everybody's going to get. Red Dwarf. <laughs> OK. Oh. OK. Are you okay. agree? Sooty agrees. Yeah, OK. Red OK, dwarf. Red Dwarf. So we've got Holly Hunter and we've got Red Dwarf. Um, Debbie and Richard have gone <laughs> for Red Dwarf. How many of our 100 got Red Dwarf? Oh, it's right. right. Oh, yeah, I knew. 
Yeah. Oh, 42 oh, for Red Dwarf, which means me, Cheryl, and Gary. Very well done indeed. I'm afraid it's Debbie and Richard. It is. But oh, it's yeah. been lovely having you here. We've had a it's great time. And thank well, you, so have we. Audience. Thank yeah. you so much. Please come and play again. Debbie bye bye, and Richard bye bye. and Sooty. Yeah. Bye for me,